Nerd Camp by Alyssa Weissman. I'm just going to read you a little bit from this chapter book to get you in the mood for camping. Check this book out. It's pretty good. All right, into his backpack, Gabe put his keep in touch kit, which included a ladder full of from the bunk of Gabe Phillips stationery that he'd printed his address book, extra pencils, and two sheets of stamps. He added his spare pair of glasses and his goggles, which were also a prescription. Without them, he could easily swim into the wall of the pool. Tomorrow morning, he'd fill it up with the book from his nightstand and all of his bathroom stuff. He felt like he had packed up his whole life. And it was weird to think that when he unpacked all of it, it'd be to use it somewhere other than his room. Look at your suitcase, said Ashley, when she and Eric arrived to have dessert and say goodbye. It's bigger than Eric. Hey, said Eric. He went and stood next to it. I'm taller. Not by much, said Gabe. Just wait, said Eric. I might grow so much while you guys are at camp that by the end of this summer, I'll be taller than both of you combined. Combined, said Gabe. You'd be a giant. Eric nodded. That'll show you guys. Ashley sat down on Gabe's suitcase. So Gabe is going to spend the summer doing math and writing poetry. I'm going to day camp and you are going to grow. Grow a lot, said Eric. Every time I write you, Gabe, I'll tell you how many inches I grew. I can't say for sure yet, said Gabe, because I don't start my logical reasoning class till Monday. But I think that doubling your height in six weeks is not logical. The phone rang and Gabe's mother picked it up. She brought the phone to the door of Gabe's room. Zach, she said. Gabe took it. Hey, Zach, what's up, man? Ashley sighed and Eric rolled his eyes. You leave tomorrow, right? Said Zach. Yeah, Gabe said. I can't wait. I just finished packing. Eric tapped Gabe on the shoulder. Did you already pack your logical reasoning book? I want to show it to Ashley. Gabe put his finger to his lips and covered the mouthpiece of the phone. Yeah, I packed it, he said. What'd you pack, said Zach. Nothing, said Gabe. Can I call you back later? Some of my friends are here. Oh, said Zach. Don't worry about it, man. I just called to say goodbye. And remember, you have to write and tell me everything you do. Everything. I promise, said Gabe. Next year, said Zach, we'll go to sleepaway camp together. Yeah, that'd be so cool. Okay, bye, Gabe. Bye. Gabe clicked the phone off and put it on his desk. Ashley and Eric were looking at him. That was my stepbrother, he said. Duh, said Ashley. He's not even your stepbrother yet, but you still talk about him every five minutes. And how cool he is, added Eric. That's because he is cool, said Gabe. He's still so jealous that I get to go to sleepaway camp. I have to write and tell him everything. But he doesn't know that your camp is called the Summer Center for Gifted Enrichment, said Ashley. Well, no, said Gabe. And he doesn't know that everyone who goes there is really smart. And you are to take a test to get in. No. And he doesn't know that when you're there, you'll be in school almost all the time. And you are really excited about it. Gabe sighed. No, but come on. If he found out, he wouldn't like me. Eric looked at Gabe over his glasses. Are you going to write and tell him everything? It's camp, said Gabe, tapping his nose. I'll do it somehow. Won't that be lying, said Ashley. No, Eric granted. It'll just be a challenge. Yeah, said Gabe. He liked challenges. So let's find out what happens to Gabe at nerd camp.